Welcome to Geography Form 4 Lesson 1. Our first topic in Geography Form Form 4 is land reclamation. Land reclamation is the process of converting wasteland into farmland for growing of crops and keeping of animals, while land rehabilitation is the process of restoring land to its former productive state. Here are the importance of land reclamation. One, intensify food production to feed the increasing population. And two, helps in overcoming land shortage and pressure. Now, let us look at methods of land reclamation. Irrigation. Irrigation is the artificial method of supplying water to a region which doesn't receive adequate rainfall or to ensure continuous crop production. Irrigation is done in dry areas with low rainfall and regions experiencing dry periods to sustain growth of crops. For irrigation, dams are used to store water. Here are advantages of irrigation. Dams can be used for hydroelectric power generation. Dams can be used for fish farming. Dams can be used to supply water for domestic use. Dams are used to control floods as well. Negative effects of irrigation. One, dams can be a cause of death by drowning. Dams can also be a breeding grounds for mosquitoes which transmit malaria. Breakage can cause destruction of life and property. Factors determining the amount of water required for irrigation. Climate. Areas receiving low rainfall require more water. Soils. Sandy soils require more water than clay due to low water retention ability. Crop. Paddy rice requires water-logged soil, while vegetables require wet and well-drained soils. Sizes of fields. Small plots require small amount of water, while large plots require large amount of water. Methods of irrigation. A. Water lifting method. Lifting water from a source by using a bucket or watering can and pouring it on the crops. This method is used widely in market gardens and on farm adjacent to the water. B. Flood or what we call basin irrigation. This involves diverting river water into a canoe then to plot where it's flooded. It's commonly used in irrigation schemes. C. Sprinkler or overhead irrigation. Taking water to the fields by pipes and applying it on crops by rotating sprinklers mounted on vertical pipes. This method is used on golf course and market gardening. D. Trickle irrigation. This is whereby plastic pipes with holes laid in the fields through which water trickles to the base of plants. Popular where fruits and flowers are grown. E. Canal irrigation. This is directing water through canal to farms, commonly used in areas experiencing low rainfall, e.g. Yata in Machakos. F. Drip irrigation. This is inventing bottles filled with water into the roots of a plant. Used, it's basically used in low rainfall areas to grow trees, fruits, and flowers. Drainage of swamps. This is the process of draining excess water from the land. Problem of land with excess water are is a breeding ground for disease causing vectors. A. B. Is water logged and unsuitable for agriculture. And C. Is prone to flooding which destroys life and property.